Oh, we're recording. Hi. Hey, so um, the community seems to be up in black flame about the difference between Sage and Archlord. Archlord? Archlord? Archlord sounds cooler, but we'll stick with Archlord. Uh, and I'm here to kind of give a secondary perspective on uh, how things might actually work with the magic systems and the, diff the actual difference between Sage and Archlord. And I think um, a lot of people recently are kind of on the right path. Uh, they're on the right track to the actual differences, but um, I'm going to kind of break it down a bit because I think the way the magic systems works, it's very important to the difference here. Um, and I'm going to use an analogy, uh, which is programming. Uh, so let's back it up a bit and uh, well, let's look at the way Cradle or the overall universe works and uh, the different magic systems. So um, I mentioned programming. So let's kind of look at how software on a computer works. Um, we, of course, have the operating system. Uh, Windows is what people know most, so otherwise Mac OS X, etc. cetera. Um, I'd like to think, it's not exactly a great one-to-one -one analogy, but I'd like to think of the way as a little bit like uh, the operating system. So the operating system, of course, is programmed in a little bit lower level. It's not like a lower level language, but it's lower than some of the other stuff I'll be talking about, um, C. And that gives the operating system um, more direct access to fundamental systems like the hardware. Uh, can give them more control over that, which uh, for the computer can be dangerous uh, because if you have um, direct access over the hardware and you kind of make a mistake, you could crash the computer. Um, and in this case, I'd like to equate the computer to um, the user. So it might be dangerous to the user if they don't know what they're doing. Whereas if we look at something like JavaScript, for instance, uh, JavaScript is um, more or less, I mean, of course, there's some other uses in some other software, but it's mostly used with browsers like uh, Google Chrome, um, the Mac one, <laughs> I forget what it's called. <laughs> um, but yeah, or, you know, Internet Explorer. So uh, when you use Magia, basically when you're using a path, that's basically a specific tool created to work within a specific framework on Cradle. Um, you can only use Magia um, and, you know, Essence and whatnot to use this tool, the tool being the path. Um, and you're stuck to kind of, you know, within those constraints, right? So that's kind of what that is. It's like a higher level scripting language when you're using Madra um, or using the tools that are based around Madra. Um, excuse me for the burps. Coffee apparently makes me like that. So yeah, so that kind of uh, gives you an idea of how I'm looking at this. Now, as for the one last thing, the third magic system that we've heard about, um, the one that Nostrider, uh, Nostrider supposedly uses. Uh, I think this is like another high level language kind of adjacent-ish to maybe like JavaScript or, you know, Magi or the, the past and whatnot. It's not the same, it's different constraints, but uh, it can, you know, plug into this other system and maybe alternate, alter it a bit, um, alter how it works, maybe um, complement it and give it a little bit more uh, flexibility perhaps. Otherwise, it could also just be, you know, its own thing, a different system within the framework of Cradle. So uh, why am I breaking this all down? Oh, by the way, uh, just one more, if you're still a little bit confused, uh, just one more little analogy. Think almost uh, like using the way as being able to access physics or, you know, manipulate physics. So the reason I explain all this is um, because if a sage has a fundamental fundamental understanding of physics or you know the low level programming language or how fundamentally cradle operates it has that kind of access to the way uh, it can create these tools so if it knows how to basically program in javascript so if like a sage knows how to program in javascript for instance it can create tools for madri use so i think that's uh, that's kind of the main difference between sage and archlord Ar Arc Lord. We're going to call it Arc Lord. Yeah. Um, an Arc Lord doesn't have that understanding. They, they didn't go that far uh, into understanding. They just kind of want to progress. So uh, this is where some people's theories up till now are, uh, I think, pretty good. Um, people have said, they've said that, you know, sages do have some sort of understanding or access to the way, and that Arch Lords are risen up to Herald 
thanks to a monarch giving them that power. And I think that might be correct. A monarch will show them how to use the secondary magic system or maybe give them access to it. Maybe the monarch themselves have kind of rudimentary uh, creative tools to create these secondary systems to rise uh, heralds up. Or maybe they just know, they just know. And they'll just be like, I'll give you some of this knowledge if you work for me. Uh, whereas sages, sages, they care so much about being the best they can within their path. It's, it's about... Uh, um, pride and ego. It's about I'm I I want to create this path or I want to further push this path. So they the only way they can possibly do that is by manipulating it, by manipulating the way. So they go okay. I with my limited ability right now as an arch lord, I don't quite have full access to the way. I'm going to figure out how these systems work, and I'm going to change my path or create a new path. So they learn how to use JavaScript in this sense. Uh, the way allows them, knowledge of the way allows them because they kind of seeing, okay, I, I, I've started to see how Cradle works. There's more to more to this universe than Cradle. Um, and I'm seeing how the systems work. So they alter their path or they find out how to create a new one within JavaScript, within Cradle. Um, and yeah, so I think that's the main difference between Sage and Archlord works. Uh, another little point of contention is, uh, I think it's semantics in this case uh, where people are like, well, you have to create a you have to create a new path to become a sage, but Yaren Yaren wants to be a sage, but she's on the path of the endless sword. How does that work? Um, and the way that works is basically, I think it's just um, being able to manipulate these uh, these paths, these tools. Like I said, paths are like tools. So you want to further make the, the tool more flexible or have more build, um, more uses. Um, so. Think about if the Sage of the Endless Sword were still alive. So he's up here and he stays alive and he raises Yurin up to be his equal. They have all the exact same understanding and ability within the Path of the Endless Sword. Um, and he decides, I'm going to continue this way. I think we can, I think we should go this way or we, we can find more uses this way. And Yurin goes, no, I'm a young upstart. And I think this is the way it should go because there's definitely, you can see Look at these, like you, you can make new abilities going down this way. And he goes, no, that's ethicless, you young rapscallion. That's not the way of the endless sword. That's the path of the ethicless sword. So it's just a semantics thing. Whereas, you know, other than this branching off here, they have the exact same understanding and ability. But he goes down, he continues down the path of the endless sword. And she continues down the path of the ethicless sword now. Uh, so that's another point of contention there I want to kind of explain. Uh, as for um, monarchs and heralds specifically, like I said, uh, I'm, a monarch might kind of help raise up a archlord uh, to herald to give them that kind of power. But, you know, they still don't really have a great understanding of the systems yet. Whereas all the time the sage spent understanding these fundamental systems, because they smart, um, they decide to finally uh, progress. They want to ascend to the old. Uh, they ascend to uh, maybe Herald or just straight to Monarch by the, like on their own. They don't need the help. Uh, and they generally have a faster path to Ascension out of Cradle or at least off of the, you know, the main world or wherever they might be. Uh, so yeah, that is my theory on the systems and the difference between Sage and Archlord and a little bit on uh, Herald and Monarch. Uh, if you think I'm wrong, I've got years of research I don't this is not at all <laughs> this is this is just my own writing and notes uh, if you think I'm wrong tell me in the comments if you think I'm right tell me in the comments I could always use my ego pet and yeah talk to you soon